Well, on YouTube, welcome back to the Journey YouTube channel. We're talking about spirituality, hair growth, personal development, self empowerment, and all those wonderful things. Today, we're going to do a video about um, free form locks, oil routine. So, I'm going to show you guys um, oil routine. I'm going to discuss the type of oils I'm going to use, the benefits of the oil that I use. But I have an oil mixture, right? Mixing all of the oil together and I use it. So, Alright, what you need for the oil here is them things here. So, all you need is a spray bottle. If you can find them on Amazon or anywhere you want to look. Or in any beauty store, whatever. It's a small spray bottle, 8, eight ounce spray bottle. That's all you really need. And first thing you have to do is spritz your hair because you can't just put oil on dry hair. It kind of counterproductive. So, Next thing you need is a bowl or a cup with warm water because the oils penetrate better if it's warm and you can't really put this in the microwave because it doesn't melt so you need a, this, a bowl or a cup any container with warm water you warm the water in the microwave or wherever you want to do it and then you actually make the oils sit inside of it when you can see them yeah, yeah. Sit inside of it, right? And the oil is going to get warm, and then you can apply it after you mist your hair. So now I'm going to mist my hair. So this is what I do. Take each strand, I try to get it wet. You don't know, really soak the air, all you need to do is mist it so that the oil can go with the water and all that. Because, all right, the reason why I use oil is to trap in moisture. If there is no moisture, there, will be any, there won't be anything to trap, right? So that's why I'm going to try to moisturize it with water first and then you put the oil after being a coat so that the oil can actually seal in the water when I actually apply it right now. So, yeah. See, we use like almost four ounces of water, four ounces of water, because we did that eight, eight ounces of water, no, it's almost. Then we go over the four ounces. See, you don't need a lot of water, like it's four ounces of water, right? <coughs> now for the oil, it's already warm, so you see, this one, the folks say it's super runny, super liquefied, it finished. Alright, this is the oil mixture guys, and in the oil mixture of lavender, essential oils, tea tree, rosemary, and peppermint essential oils. And then now we have sweet almond, sweet almond oil, but we use the um, moisture, that it. And the oil is um, pretty much the same thing, I do similar things, but the sweet almond oil we use specifically for it moisture retention so that the locks them out of a brick right so it's keeping a lot of moisture so your hair now will get brittle and break I mean actually I'm not sure about breaking you know so one of my locks actually break in you know, the first start of my journey like the first eight months because for the first year I never use the oil so for the like so was the ninth month I look me in the mirror I do something with my ear and like when I was <laughs> <laughs> but the locks are literally break off and I'm like, I'm like, shit. No, I'm really old. I love my ear. And I'm not like lose no night. So for the fact that I see one of them actually fucking get bro broken off, it was because it's too dry. I never mean, use no oil. I'm not a shit now. My ear need oil because I wash it very, very often. So that's why I need oil too. So yeah, locks get dry out, dry out fast, man. And if you don't oil it, 
it will easily break and your ear is going to look like it's not grow. And nobody will have ear, don't want them ear to look like it's not grow. <laughs> I don't know if I don't mean, but I'm almost sure that nobody with ear don't want to see them ear not making any progress because it does not make sense. You know, the oil helps to retain the ear and reduce the breakage. And then, you now, so that's my discuss. Like, yeah, my name was all of the island already. Well, no, not all of them except two. So, sweet almond oil for my try attention. Jamaican black cast dry for the growth and the strength of the ear. So, that's uh, everything in like, another mixture, yeah, you know. And, uh, and yeah, sesame oil. Sesame oil is the oil. Why? This is the, um, sesame oil is the reason why it's in the ear still this black and you know really see no brown on the ends and all them things because the sun don't bleach it that much simply because of the sesame oil the sesame oil acts, acts as almost like a sunscreen for your ear so it gives protection against certain UV rays like a bleach your ear because the sun naturally bleaches your free form that's it I think most free formers know that already so the sesame oil in you know, the mixture helps actually protect against all of that it's still have a bleach you know but it just have a bleach, it just have a bleach less the ear now will get the brown thing with it, but most people here, most free from my ear because of the system oil, it protects against harmful um, things, you know. It's like a protection oil, you know? get to me after. So now we're going to apply the mixture. Alright, and this is what I'm going to do. So, very typically. And guys, we do this every two days, depending upon how dry the air is. When we used to live in New York, it did. We have to do it like almost every day because the air in New York dry. The humidity in New York is like 40% every day, most times. Except in the summer, it goes a little bit. In the winter time, 40% humidity, 20% humidity, the air dry as fuck. And you have to just keep it moisturized and oil more often. Now we're in a different part of the world. The humidity of the place here. High! So I'm not really happy to keep my ear moisturized that much. Because the humidity of the ear helps a lot, you know. Alright. I'm gonna put too much right there for so you. So I'll get it even around the scalp before I even start massaging it in. And guys, scalp massage, I'm gonna tell you, it helps with ear growth too. Try to massage your scalp as often as possible. And try to get it everywhere on the scalp. Try to massage your scalp as often as possible. If you can do it yourself, get somebody to do it for you. Whether a sibling, somebody who are close, you know. Don't make everybody put it on your ear. The ear is your essence. It's an extension of your nervous system. I'm sure you don't want anybody to put them on your heart. <laughs> your ear is almost like your heart. You have to watch who you are put. We are make put them hands in your ear. And that's why I'm not support the lactation business. But if you trust the lactation and you know who them is, they can always do whatever you want for the body. Get somebody we trust and we love to massage your scalp and oil your scalp if you need them to be or whatever. But here, it's much more than just cosmetic people. So you have to watch what I'm going to do with it. I think that will stop the work. It's very sensitive to energy too. If the wrong energy is going in here, you can get sick. Um, your thought process, processes can be fucked up. Your ear can stop growing. <laughs> and all of that. So, keep that in mind. So, yeah, this is just for your massage. You just need a little massage. You by yourself. Can put that ear by yourself. Put love in your ear, and it will express that. Because what so about so below, you know? So when you put in, is why you get out. I'm sure you hear love and care, and it's gonna reflect the love and care where you should. So this 
that routine is done every three days. Um, I do it like a real routine because I'm not washing hair. I'm not washing hair this morning. So this is like just a semi routine. I'm going to wear more eyeliner than I'm washing because I don't know what I'm washing. But like hair is stripped from everything. Because the washing feels black soap for the hair sometimes. And then sometimes it was um, clarifying shampoo. So you know what I did to do something? Yeah, and that's the journey. Um, free farm black oil routine. As I say, the oil mixture of tea tree oil, lavender oil, rosemary oil, essential oils, and peppermint. You get the message? There is a black Jamaican black castor oil, castor oil, sesame oil, and it has sweet almond oil. So, another like seven different oils. Yeah, block.